One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a Roku Smart Light Bulb, which we've got right here. These work on Wi-Fi and don't require any kind of hub. They just work on the Roku Smart Home app. So first thing we're going to do is download the Roku Smart Home app. We put that into the search bar. You can see Roku and this pops up. It's not the Roku app. It's not the Roku remote. It's the Roku Smart Home. So we're going to click on Get Roku Smart Home, and that's going to allow us to set up the Roku app. So just click Install and follow the instructions to install the app on your phone. Now that we've got the Roku Smart Home app installed, let's just click Open. And we're going to need to set up a username and password. Continue. Create a new account if you don't have one, or sign in. We signed up for an account and we had to verify our email in order to do that. So just went into our email, verified that link. We're gonna skip the two-factor authentication and then we're going to click continue. It says to finish up, allow access to your network to set up and allow notifications. We're clicking continue. Here it says allow smart home to find devices on your local network. We're going to click allow. And we're going to allow smart home to send us notifications. Click allow here and it says allow smart home to track your activity. We're going to say no tracking. So once you log into that, this is a screen that would pop up if you already have an account. And now all we're going to do is click add a new device. Here we've got some different options. We're going to click on lights and power. Now this is the smart bulb color. This is an A19 bulb. So if it's most standard light bulb fixtures, and we're just going to make that selection here. Screw in your color bulbs. We've got a light fixture right here that we're going to uh, screw this into, and then we're gonna click next. All right, we've got our Roku smart light bulb screwed into our light fixture, and it says new lights will begin pulsing immediately, so I just need to turn this lamp on, and when they begin pulsing, that means that they are ready to set up. It says if your lights aren't pulsing, turn them on and off three times to enter pairing mode. We're going to click next you can see that this is currently pulsing. It says, allow access to your location. We're going to click OK. Now we need to allow the app to use our location, and I'm just going to point that in the other direction so that it doesn't screw up our video too much. And now we're just going to click allow while using app. Allow Bluetooth access, click OK. Allow Smart Home to find Bluetooth devices. We're going to click Allow. Now our network pops up and we just need to click on which network we're going to use and enter the password. Once you've entered your password, click Next. It says Allow Smart Home to also use your location when you're not using the app. We're gonna say Keep While Using and we're not gonna save our password. All right. Now our Roku smart color light bulb is set up and all we're gonna do is click next. It says connecting your lights. Now we're going to name our lights. It says color bulb one, that's fine with me. Click finish naming. It says we're updating your Roku device with the latest firmware and features. Feel free to leave this screen. The update will continue in the background. Please do not turn off your Roku device. So we're not gonna turn off our Roku device, but we are going to X out of this. And now our color light bulb is right there and we can control it from the app. So let's zoom out and we'll be able to see how we can control this with the app with the Roku smart light bulb. Okay, we've got our Roku smart light bulb. We can turn it on or off right here just by clicking this button. And then if we click on the bulb itself, it says uh, firmware update required. We're gonna click update now. And it says, feel free to leave this page. We're going to X out of this. And then we can turn this on or off. And we're gonna come back to you once that update is complete. It looks like it's gonna take us a minute or two. So we'll just wait for that update to run. And we'll come back here and show you how we can adjust the colors. Here it says updating. Feel free to leave this page. Your smart bulb color will restart when the update finishes. So that means it's most likely going to blink when the update is completed. So we're gonna X out of this and see when the update completes. Might take a couple minutes here. All right, the update is complete. It took about five minutes, so longer than I expected. But now that the update's complete, you can turn on or off the light right here from the Roku app. 
Then you click on the color bulb and here you can adjust the brightness so you can dim it uh, higher or lower. And let's go all the way up to 100% there. And then let's just turn this uh, way down so that we don't have too much interference with the um, video. In terms of color, you can adjust the color. You can see if we leave it there, um, that's gonna change the color. We're kinda in the purples. Let's put it in the red here. And it takes maybe like a second or two after you make the adjustment for it to change. And let's do a green. And let's just do like a white if we wanna have it uh, a normal white bulb. And then we can adjust the temperature too. So we could do like daylight white, or we could go to a softer white with just a little bit more color to it. And then uh, you've got scenes down here. You can have night light, cozy, just different color scenes that you could choose. Uh, meditation here. Uh, we could have movie light and then adjust those. So pretty cool that you can do that uh, with these uh, Roku smart light bulbs. You can turn them on or off remotely from your phone. Uh, or you can adjust the color and the temperature of these bulbs as well as dim them. If we go in here to the settings, we've got some more items here. We can change the name. We can change the device icon uh, if we wanted to. We can set up a sleep routine, scene, or a timer. So you could turn those on so it'll turn off after a certain amount of time. And then you've got vacation mode, which will randomly turn it on and off to make it look like your home or you can have it sun match and that's going to automatically adjust the lights to mimic natural sunlight, so that's pretty cool. And then you've got other device options down here, rules, device info, help feedback, or check for a firmware update. So we already got that firmware update completed. So thanks for watching this video on how to set up your Roku Color Smart Light Bulb. We hope you enjoyed, give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any links below if you wanna support us.